right hello and welcome we're going to talk about slicking edges in this video here now i have a tooled leather belt this is uh tooled on eight nine ounce veg tan herman oak uh, and then that is glued and sewed down to a three four ounce herman oak veg tan um, glued and stitched down after i stitched that down i'd gone around and trimmed my edges and then i've taken my edger here this one happens to be a number one osborne but uh, it doesn't matter what what edger you like the different sizes is just gonna kind of shape that corner a little bit different but that's been edged off on that back side as well as the front um, i do the front before we dye it but then i've gone back and re-dyed that edge uh, with my Phoebe's, uh pro dye so now for the actually slicking the edges, what I like to use is gum tragacanth. There's lots of different ways uh, to slick edges and you're gonna see um, everybody's got a different opinion, a different uh, strategy and you find what works for you and go with it. Uh, there's not, it, it's leather work. There's not one right way to do it. There's gonna be lots of ways. So this is just how I do it um, and, and all the stuff that I do at 23 plus. But okay, we're gonna take that I just put that in the cap. It's kind of a, a thicker consistency. Makes it nice to work with. You don't uh, spill it very often. It, it's pretty tough to spill. But and then I use a, this is just a, a foam chip brush that I've narrowed down just with some scissors, trim that down. So it fits in the cap really nice. I'm gonna fit that in there. And I'm gonna come right along the edge. And I paint this on here. Now this video is actually coming from a question that was asked by a viewer about how I slick edges. Uh, and that's where a lot of the content for my videos comes from, is from questions, uh, great questions from people like you watching um, and are looking to improve your leather crafting skills. So I appreciate all the questions you guys send my way. That uh, really helps to come up with content that's going to be valuable to you. Okay, now I'm not going to go the full length of this belt. I just go part way. And then I'll go work on slicking it and then move my way down. So I'm going to set that high. Now this is just a chunk of canvas. Um, it's, it's just a heavy duty canvas. I'm going to back you up just a little bit so you can kind of see here how I start this. I like bringing that belt right to the edge of my workbench. Makes it easy to, to get a hold of here. With my fingers, I slick right down there to get a kind of that rough start on there. Once I've slicked that a little bit, then I can turn this on edge and come and slick this way to get a little bit quicker in there and really burnish that edge in there good. Another tool that's really handy is one of these wood slickers. Some people just slick right with that wood. I, I personally, don't like that um, not that there's anything wrong with it if it works for you great um, it's just not what I like doing but you can use this also to take and wrap that canvas there it has the different grooves in it fits really nice over the edge of your belt or whatever project you're working on and it just helps shape that edge and save your fingers from when they get a little little bit hot from rubbing that canvas see it's getting that nice kind of see that shine on there uh, really nice glassy feel to that edge and that's what we're after so then I'll go work my way around my project a little bit further again using that that gum tragacanth um, yeah I can you can see on on there I get get this from Weaver uh, if you'd like to try some from Weaver or really any any of the supplies they offer for that matter uh, leather tools machinery 
uh, and you want to save a little bit of money, you can use promo code JOE10. That'll save you 10% off anything at Weaver there too. But you can, I mean, there's, they're not the only place to get that stuff, but they, they have lots of good stuff. You can check them out online as well. Okay. Slick that a little bit. Turn that up on edge. Gets you that nice, smooth, rounded edge. Gives you a real professional feel to your projects there. So appreciate you guys checking that out. Um, be sure and check out the other videos on the channel. And hopefully I can help answer some of your guys' questions as you're moving along with your leather craft. But appreciate you. Be sure to subscribe, share that out. Uh, we'll see you here on the next video.